Welcome to the Projectionist. Projectionist is an Unreal Engine plugin that will let you project video uh, onto geometry using decals, spotlights, or some other methods. Let's start by jumping into the feature overview map in the demo project. So first, we have a feature overview that will list all the types of projections and the projection reflection. The first type of projection is canvas projection. And the uh, canvas projection is a type of mesh projection that gives you already made media material in canvas blueprint that is already pre-built. And what's cool uh, with this type of projection is that you have the full control of the media and the mesh that projects it. Uh, the next type of projection is decal projection. And uh, decal projection works the same or similarly to normal decals but gives you the power to project videos and it blends smoothly with the base material. The decal projection material gives you tons of customizable options for better control of the decal projection. The third type of projection is the rectangular projection. Uh, and this kind of acts like a movie projector and is cast by the rectangular light. It allows you to project video on a surface and is able to be obstructed, obstructed by the other objects. And this can kind of give you a true cinema effect where actors can pass in front of the projection and cast shadows. All the different projection types have their own material instance uh, with exposed parameters that can be changed and customized. And you can see some of the customizations in the video where uh, color change, size change, aspect ratio change and all that. Uh, the next type of the projection is spotlight projection. And the uh, spotlight projection is a type of projection that uses light functions to deliver video in full RGB color. And it works similar to the rectangle projection, letting intercepting objects cast a shadow. Uh, a fourth type is a mesh projection. And it lets you project your video on any mesh. We will see later how we can easily change the mesh to anything that we want. Also, the effects that you can see are just some of the things that can customize and change. Uh, now, let's check out how we can easily customize different types of projections. So, if we click on the mesh projection and try to change the mesh, so let's choose something different like a uh, room wall. Now, if we see our projection adapted to the wall, and with just a few clicks we completely change the mesh and it has a working projection. So let's click Ctrl Z to change that. And the next we have the spotlight projection. So if you click on the spotlight projection blueprint, uh, we'll see this projection component. And this component uh, all of the projection types have. And here we can see this projection is tab and all sorts of options that we can change. So let's say we can want to change the saturation. Uh, we have options for that and we can also change things like uh, aspect ratio, border or even opacity or transparency of the projection. Uh, the next type is the decal projection. So let's click on that and you will probably notice that uh, uh, all these different types of projections have different types of materials that you can customize. So they are separate instances that they, they don't uh, you won't change uh, properties of all of them when you change one. So if you look here, we can see that this also has a projectionist tab and also all the other types of uh, options. And all these options can also be exposed and we'll see this in a more specialized video, uh, how you can use them in sequencer to create some uh, pretty cool effects. So if you click open level sequence and click some of the sequences, we can see how we can expose all the parameters and change them at will. The last projection type that we are going to check out is full screen projection. If you click at the blueprint for full screen projection, we can see that it uses an image plate uh, that is locked onto the camera and uh, carries out the projection. Now let's click play and see what happens. So the video is always projected in front of the camera and you can see there is all of the advanced options for changing the aspect ratio, uh, enabling opacity or doing any of the color corrections.